And then if we go ahead and render that, what? That is insane. What is happening guys? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another photo mission. Welcome back to New York City. It is super dark and gloomy outside. Uh, but nevertheless, we're still gonna head out and go take some epic photos. So the other day I came across this really cool After Effects photo animation 3D thing. I don't even know how it works, but I just saw it and it looked incredible. And I've been wanting to try it out for a while now, but I just haven't come around to doing it. So I decided to organize a quick little shoot with my friend Brett Conti. What's up? What's How's it going? Up? Good morning. You doing well? I'm doing great. Everybody, this is Brett Conti. Some of you might know him already. Brett is also a YouTuber. If you've searched anything about New York on YouTube before, you'd probably see his name pop up. So definitely check out Brett as well. But he's going to be our model for today. Uh, also doing a little bit of a shoot for the Make It Happen series. So just getting some B-roll for that. But then obviously photos for this video as well. So, doing two yeah. videos. Two videos in one go. Let's do this. <laughs> I've never seen it this right? empty before. Right? All right, now that Brett has already proven himself within two minutes of being here, I think it's safe to say he's definitely a pro at skateboarding. So time to get on to getting the B-roll shots to make it happen as well as getting these photos. I think you got me beat on the penny board. Ready? <laughs> it's like a mini board compared to you. Oh my god. The <laughs> wheels are so bouncy and rubbery. They are. Whoa. So we are out here getting the shots of Brett. I'm laying on the stairs right now in the skate park. Brett's jumping over me, so I'm putting a lot of trust in his skills right now. But he's doing a pretty good job. Uh, he hasn't hit me yet. I don't think he will. All right. Do you trust me? I do trust you. Right. You're killing the game. I don't think you should. I think we got the shots. I feel so bad that I'm just like blocking everyone in the skate park laying on the floor. Well, they could just have free range to jump over you now <laughs> too if they want. Yeah. Since we got here, there's some other skaters around uh, and I've like scattered all my things all around. But uh, we get in the shots, we get in the videos. So I think it's good. Let's just do some of those portraits now and then I think we're good. So just another thing that's in the 3D motion photo thing is the portrait effect. So you can kind of make it look like it's moving around somebody's face. So I just want to try that out with Brett right now and we'll see if it works. So I wanted to take a portrait of Brett out on the skate park, but I wanted a more solid background. So we came over here, this wall was epic. I love the colors as well as the reflection, reflecting the blue light coming from the big buildings on the outside so I'm gonna take some portraits of Brett over here hopefully they turn out well and we'll get going from there all right thank you so much to Brett for joining the game that's that was a terrible handshake that was my bad. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah please go check out Brett his YouTube channel is awesome all about New York City about travel about lifestyle about all the things so again thank you so much for joining today being our model no I'm problem. sure the audience enjoyed the tricks and the shots, so I'm yeah. excited to see him. Go the rest of the day. Thanks so much, Dean. I'll catch you soon. <laughs> yeah. Whew, that was great. So much fun. I haven't skated like that in a while. Not that it was proper skating for me, but just like in a skate park cruising around. It was so good, and I got a little sweaty as well. So I need to go chill out a little bit now. I'm going to go do some work, but then head back to the apartment and share these photos, results with you guys to see if we actually, in fact, manage to create a super cool 3D photo. apartment what is happening to my voice <clears throat> too much vlogging 
We are back at the apartment and I am so excited to get these photos off of the camera and onto my laptop so we can start this whole editing process. I'm not even gonna say anything more, let's just get going and we'll take it from there. All right, so just jumping straight into it, I'm gonna start out on Lightroom, just giving the photos a quick edit. Now, this isn't an editing tutorial, but I'll just show you the quick before and after before we get onto the After Effects. So I've just gone through and applied my own editing style to all of these photos real quick. And like I just said, gonna take it into After Effects after that. So I think for the example, I'm going to be using this photo. Just before we get into it, I want to say that this is using an After Effects template. It's not a plugin, but rather a project file that this company has created and provided. This isn't a sponsored video. I'm not saying that. It is an incredible tool and I definitely think you should support it if you do want to try out this method as well. The project is called Photo Motion X and you can find it on the Envato market. So now that I've just mentioned that, I'm going to get into After Effects and open this project that they have created already. You can probably figure out how to do this by yourself, but I'm sure it'll take you forever to do so. And this company just made it really nice and quick and easy to get this whole process started. So first things first, I've just opened up the portrait template. And the first thing we need to do is just drop the portrait that we just exported from Lightroom into the project file. So once you've imported that into your project, you want to click on add photo. Just double click on this button in the bottom left corner and then just drag this all the way down into your After Effects project. Hit S on scale to drag that down just a little bit. It's a bit massive for right now. Even though it doesn't fill up the whole screen, that is completely fine for right now. So I'm just going to leave that where it is and we can go ahead and go back to the main dashboard. Now we'll see that the face setup has started to appear. So if we double click on that, we can go over to this x-ray scan looking thing that covers his face. And all we need to do is click on face setup and then go to the effects controls on the left over here. And if we click on the left eye, we just drag this over to the left eye, click on the right eye, drag that dot over to the right eye, click on the nose, Drag that over to the nose and you'll see that it starts to create a face for you. And you just kind of want to find the right place for this so that it fits your photograph accordingly. You can drag the middle thing just a little bit so that it rotates itself properly. And then if we double click on this tweak button, we have, we should have, <laughs> there we go. We have the liquify tool and if you're familiar with Photoshop and how to use the liquify tool on there, it's pretty much exactly the same. So all you need to do is kind of just bring this exoskeleton looking thing, just like more fitted to his face, um, just so the contour lines fit perfectly with his face. So you're literally just like dragging it in and that's all you're doing really, just to fix up everything and make sure that it fits the face correctly. So if we just drag the eyes up here a little bit, just to fit around these eyes properly, and do the same on the other side. We can also see that his ears need to come in quite a bit. These ears are kind of hidden in this shot, so we're just gonna squish these ears all the way down. It's coming together. It's quite a weird process doing this. It looks like something super futuristic <laughs> that I'm basically creating some like AI robots or something now that's gonna take over the world, but let's hope it doesn't do that. So pretty much all I'm doing right now is just going around the contour of his face and make sure it all lines up properly. And then lastly, if we just move the mouth up ever so slightly, I think that looks good. All right, so it's not absolutely perfect, but as long as the eyes, the nose, and the mouth are pretty much aligned perfectly, then everything else doesn't matter that much. So once we've got the face x-ray anamorphic robot thing set up, we can come back to the main dashboard. And now all we need to do is actually animate the face. So if we go to the starting position, hopefully my laptop doesn't explode. And now this movable icon will appear on your shot. So to set the start point, just go to the beginning of your timeline and just drag this first point up in the picture if you want him to start from looking up. And then we'll come over to about two seconds and then drag this point all the way down. And then if we go ahead and render that. And then finally, once it's rendered out everything, it might take you a little while depending on what laptop you have, but you end up with a super cool 3D moving portrait. Damn, that is so insane. It's so weird how it just like morphs the face because the picture actually isn't moving at all. It's just like pushing the pixels into different positions, um, like analyzing the face. Again, like I said in the beginning, you could probably figure out how to do this yourself, but this just makes it so quick and easy. It took me like 
five minutes to do this whole thing um, and like 15 minutes for my laptop to render it but that's also because I'm screen recording at the same time but really cool animation technique I definitely think you should try it out um, it is quite expensive but if you want to make the investment I'll leave a link down in the description um, and if you do decide to choose and use this method please tag me on Instagram or send it to me in a DM I'd love to see what you guys come up with and create as well so yeah that was super cool. And saying that, there are also like way better tutorials on the internet that I saw from the photo motion company that actually made this. Uh, they explained it a lot better than I did, but I just wanted to share this with you guys and show you what could be done. So, so anyway, I'm gonna end this video here. Please let me know what you thought of this video. Did you like it? Did you not? What did you think of it? Please let me know everything down in the comments below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. I'm gonna wrap this up here. Please hit the subscribe button if you are new to the channel. In the meantime, remember to stay weird, don't die, and make it happen. I'll see you guys in the next one.